Hello children, welcome to another session of Integrals. My name is Kavitha Esnayar, Faculty of Silver Hills Public School, Code Code, Handling Mathematics, Class 12. In the previous sessions, we discussed about indefinite integrals. In this session, we will discuss about definite integrals. Let us see fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Let f be continuous function defined on closed interval a b and capital F be the integral of f. Then integral a to b f of x dx will be equal to when you integrate this f x you are getting capital f x within the limits a and b. So upper limit first f of b minus the lower limit f of a. Actually this is the area below the curve y equal to f of x, the x axis, x equal to a and x equal to b. When we do definite integral, there is no need of constant because after integration, if you are putting constant, it will become f of x plus capital C under the limits b and a. When you give upper limit and lower limit respectively, you will get f of b plus c minus f of a plus c. When you open the bracket, this plus c and minus c will get cancelled. You will get f of b minus f of a. Now, Using this theorem, let us do some sums. First question, integral 2 to 3 x square dx equal to integral x square means x cube by 3. x cube by 3 under the limits 2, 3. The constant we can take outside 1 by 3 giving upper limit 3 cube minus 2 cube and the value of 3 cube is 27 minus 2 cube 8 27 minus 8 19 19 by 3 a very easy question Next one, integral 0 to pi by 4 sin cube 2x into cos 2x into dx. Now, here let us substitute sin 2x equal to t. Sin 2x equal to t. Differentiating with respect to x, cos of 2x into 2 will be equal to dt by dx or cos of 2x into dx will be equal to dt divided by 2. Now, when we integrate between the limits 0 and pi by 4, it was the limits were for x. If we are changing it by a substitution, we have to find the value, new value of the t. So, when x equal to 0, t will be equal to sin of 2 into 0, which is 0. When x equal to pi by 4, t will be sin 2 into pi by 4. So, sin pi by 2 which is 1. Let us substitute in the integral equal to limit instead of 0, 0 instead of pi by 4, 1 sin cube 2x means t cube. Cos 2x dx will be dt divided by that I am putting outside equal to 1 by 2 into integral t cube is t raised to 4 by 4. t raised to 4 by 4 
within the limits 0 and 1. Now, let us give the upper limit first. 2 into 4 is 8 equal to 1 by 8 into 1 raised to 4 minus 0 equal to 1 by 8. Next question, integral 2 to 3 x by x square plus 1 dx. Here, let us substitute x square plus 1 equal to t. x square plus 1 equal to t differentiating with respect to x. 2x will be equal to dt divided by dx. So, x dx will be equal to dt divided by 2. Again, the changes in the limits we should see when x takes the value 2. x equal to 2, t will be 2 square plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. When x takes the value 3, t will be equal to 3 square, 9 plus 1, 10. Applying here equal to integral instead of 2, 5 and instead of 3, 10 x dx is dt divided by 2 x square plus 1 is t. You got now integral 1 by t. What is it? Log t equal to 1 by 2 into log t under the limits 5 and 10. 1 by 2 into logarithm of 10 minus log 5. Log a by b is log a minus log b. Here you can see log a minus log b. So, this will be equal to 1 by 2 into logarithm of 10 divided by 5 which is 2. So, the answer will be 1 by 2 log 2. In the next question, 5 x raised to 4 into root of x raised to 5 plus 1. We can see the derivative of x raised to 5 plus 1 is seen here. So, it will be better if you give the substitution x raised to 5 plus 1 equal to t. x raised to 5 plus 1 equal to t. Differentiating with respect to x, 5 into x raised to 4 equal to dt divided by dx or 5 x raised to 4 dx will be equal to dt. Again, we have to see the changes in the limits. When x takes the value minus 1, t will be minus 1 raised to 5 minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. When x takes the value 1, t will be equal to 1 raised to 5, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Now, let us substitute all these values equal to integral minus 1, 0 instead of that. Instead of 1, we will give 2. Then, root of x raised to 5 plus 1 means root t into 5x raised to 4 into dx is dt equal to integral root t dt that means integral 0 to 2 t raised to half dt. When you integrate you will get equal to t raised to half plus 1 by half plus 1 under the limits 0 and 2 which will be equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2. It is reciprocal. 2 by 3 into giving t the value 2, 2 raised to 3 by 2 minus 0 equal to 
2 by 3 into what is 2 raised to 3 by 2? 2 cube raised to 1 by 2. Correct? Equal to 2 by 3 into root of 2 into 2 into 2. So, we will get the answer from this. You can take 1, 2 into 2 which will be 2 outside. That 2 into this 2 will become 4 by 3 root 2. Final answer. Next question. Integral 0 to 1 tan inverse x divided by x square plus 1 dx. Here also you can see the derivative of tan inverse x in the question itself. So, let us substitute tan inverse x equal to t. Tan inverse x equal to t differentiating with respect to x 1 by 1 plus x square equal to dt by dx dx divided by 1 plus x square equal to dt. Now changing the limits when x equal to 0 t will be equal to tan inverse 0 which is 0 when x equal to 1 t will be tan inverse 1 and what is tan inverse 1? Pi by 4. Now, let us substitute the values. Equal to integral 0 to 1. It will change as 0 to pi by 4. Tan inverse x is t. Then, 1 by x 1 plus x square into dx is dt equal to t square by 2 under the limits pi by 4 and 0. So, we will get 1 by 2 into pi by 4 the whole square minus 0 equal to 1 by 2 into pi square divided by 16. So, answer pi square divided by 32. Coming to next question. x into root of x plus 2 is the function. Since the root is seen there, let us give x plus 2 equal to t square. x plus 2 equal to t square. So, x will be equal to t square minus 2. Differentiating with respect to x, 1 will be equal to 2 t dt by dx. dx will be equal to 2 t dt. When x takes the value 0, we will get t square equal to 2, t equal to root 2. When x takes the value 2, t square will be equal to 2 plus 2, 4. t will be 2. Then let us come to question equal to integral. We are going to give the limits instead of 0 root 2 instead of 2 we will give 2 itself instead of x what we will write x equal to t square minus 2 t square minus 2 then root of x plus 2 means root of t square which is t then instead of dx 2 t dt. Let me write 2 here. t dt equal to 2 integral root 2 to 2 t square into t square 
t raised to 4 minus 2 into t square dt. Now let us integrate 2 into t raised to 4 will be t raised to 5 by 5 after integration minus 2 into t cube divided by 3 under the limits root 2 and 2 root 2 2 equal to 2 into now we will give the upper limits 2 raised to 5 by 5 minus 2 into 2 cube divided by 3 we gave upper limits minus root 2 raised to 5 by 5 minus 2 into root 2 raised to 3 by 3 close the bracket equal to 2 into what is 2 raised to 5? 32. 32 divided by 5 minus 2 cube is 8. 8 into 2, 16 by 3. Minus root 2 raised to 5. Root 2 multiplied 5 times. When you multiply root 2 into root 2, you will get 2. Root 2 into root 2, 2. Again root 2 into root 2, 2. So you got 2 into 2, 4. 1 root 2 is remaining, 4 root 2. 4 root 2 by 5 minus root 2 cube is root 2 into root 2 into root 2. 2 root 2 into 2, 4 root 2. 4 root 2 by 3. Now, let us take the LCM. Both place it is 15 equal to 2 into 15 upon 6, 96 minus 80 minus here also 15 LCM, 12 root 2 minus 20 root 2. That gives the answer 2 into 16 by 15 minus 12 root 2 minus 20 root 2 minus 8 root 2 minus minus plus. So, plus 8 root 2 divided by 15. We can take 15 commonly, 1 8 commonly. So, you will get 16 by 15 into 2 plus root 2. Final answer. In the next question, this is all of the different types which we studied in indefinite. In indefinite, we studied lot of types, which in all some questions we can do by substitution, some of them we can do by partial fraction, some of them we can do by the parts. And there was a form e raised to x into fx plus f dash x comes in the place of the integrand. Then how to do the integration? This is of that type. Let us see 2x let us give equal to t. 2x equal to t differentiating with respect to x 2 into 1 equal to dt by dx. dx will be equal to dt divided by 2 change in limits when x equal to 1 t will be 2 into 1 2 when x takes the value 2 t takes the value 4 now let us come and substitute here and see integral 1 to 2 will be changing to 
2 to 4. 2 to 4 e raised to 2x e raised to t. Now let us see 1 by x. Here x will be equal to t by 2. So what will be 1 by x? 2 by t minus now let us see what comes in this place. Here if I take square this t square by 4 we need 2x square. So 2x square will be equal to t square by 2. Now let us come and substitute here minus it is 1 by 2x square. So it will come 2 by t square into instead of dx it is dt by 2 dt divided by 2. Now you can see 1 2 common in the numerator and 1 denominator. So if we take this 2 outside it will get cancelled with this 2. Finally we will get integral 2 to 4 e raised to t into 1 by t minus 1 by t square dt. Now is it of the form which we learned earlier? Yes, 1 by t. Its derivative is minus 1 by t square, isn't it? So the value of the integrand will be, what was the result? Integral e raised to x into fx plus f dash x will be equal to e raised to x into fx. So e raised to t into 1 by t. e raised to t into 1 by t under the limits 2 to 4. 2 to 4 giving the upper limit e raised to 4 by 4 minus e raised to 2 by 2. Let us take e square by 4 outside remaining here e square then minus 2. Final answer. In next question we can see denominator a quadratic. Let us see how to do equal to integral minus 1 to 1 dx divided by when we get a quadratic in the denominator we learned we have to make it a perfect square. Now let us see x square plus 2x to make perfect square we should take the coefficient of x it is half square it then you will get a perfect square to balance you have to subtract also. But here x square plus 2x plus 1 if I write then remaining in 5 is 4. Why we selected such a way? This is actually x plus 1 whole square. This part is it equal to integral minus 1 to 1 dx divided by x plus 1 whole square plus 4 let me write 2 square. Now this is a standard result which we studied integral dx divided by x square plus a square equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a. Now so what will be here coming 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus 1 divided by 2 within the limits minus 1 and 1. 1 by 2 we can take outside giving upper limit tan inverse 1 plus 1 by 2 minus tan inverse of minus 1 plus 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 2 into tan inverse 1 plus 1 2 2 by 2 1 minus tan inverse 
0 and this will be 1 by 2 tan inverse 1 means pi by 4 minus 0. So, the answer will be pi divided by 8. Coming to next question, integral 0 to 1 sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. Now, let me take this integrand separately and simplify then command substitute. For simplification, let me give x equal to tan theta which will be a suitable substitution sin inverse of 2x divided by 1 plus x square we can rewrite as sin inverse of 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. This is sin inverse of sin 2 theta is it sin 2 theta. So, sin inverse sin 2 theta will be 2 theta and what is theta x equal to tan theta. So, theta will be tan inverse x to tan inverse x. Now, we are coming to the question. The variable here was x, we got back to the variable x itself. So, the limits are not changed 0 to 1 instead of sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square let us write 2 tan inverse x dx. Again we are going to remember what we learned in indefinite integral integration by parts the i late rule. We can see an inverse function here. So, let us take it as first function no functions are remaining. So, let us take 1 as the second function. So, I am underlining there is a function 1 here 2 into the rule which we learnt integral of a product first function into integral of second integral of 1 will be x but the limits are have to be given here. 1 0 minus 2 has to be carried integral of 0 to 1 derivative of first function into integral of second x dx okay equal to 2 into let us give the upper limit first tan inverse 1 into 1 minus tan inverse 0 into 0 will be 0 minus 2 into integral 0 to 1 x divided by 1 plus x square dx. How will we do this part? We have to give 1 plus x square equal to a substitution. 1 plus x square equal to t. So, 2x dx will be equal to dt. Now, x will be 0. Then, value of t will be 1. x equal to 1 t will be 2. Now, let us substitute here 2 into tan inverse 1 which is pi by 4 minus 2 into which was here integral x dx by 1 plus x square. What will we do? x dx is dt by 2. 1 by 2 then integral dt then 1 plus x square is t by t limits 1 to 2. Here 2 and pi by 4 the 4 get cut pi by 2 
minus 2 and 2 will get cut. What is integral 1 by t? Log t. So, log t 1 minus is here under the limits 2 and 1 equal to pi by 2 minus log 2 minus log 1. Value of log 1 is 0. So, pi by 2 minus log 2 is the answer. In this question, it is given prove that. That means what will come in the right side? We know in advance. Let us look the integrand 2 tan cube x dx. Let us simplify integral 0 to pi by 4. 2 I am writing outside tan cube x dx. Let me split it and write tan square x into tan x dx. This is our left hand side. Let us see whether we are getting the right hand side or not. Equal to 2 into integral. Now instead of tan square x, let us write sec square x minus 1. Sec square x minus 1 into tan x dx. It was written such a way because tan's derivative is sec square. So, we can do the integration more easily. Limits 0 to pi by 4, no change. Now, let us split this into two integrands. 2 into integral 0 to pi by 4 sec square x tan x dx minus 2 into integral 0 to pi by 4 tan x dx. Here we can see tan's derivative is seen here. Let us give tan x equal to t. So, putting tan x equal to t, sec square x dx will be equal to dt. When we differentiate, limits x equal to 0, then t will be tan 0, 0, x equal to pi by 4, then t will be tan pi by 4. What is tan pi by 4? 1. Let us substitute the according to t. 2 into integral 0 to pi by 4 will become 0 to 1. Sec square x dx is dt and tan x is t. So, t dt minus 2 into integral 0 to pi by 4. Tan x we can write as sin x by cos x sin x by cos x dx equal to 2 into first part we can integrate t square by 2 under the limits 1 0 minus 2 into here if you give cos x equal to u cos x equal to u differentiating with respect to x minus sin x dx will be equal to du. Now limits when x equal to 0 cos 0 will be 1 when x equal to pi by 4 u will be cos pi by 4 which will be 1 by root 2. So, minus 2 into integral 1 to 1 by root 2 sin x dx du 1 negative will be here then by u equal to this 2 and 2 will get cut giving upper limit 1 square minus 0 makes it 1. 
minus minus plus 2 log u under the limits 1 and 1 by root 2. So, it will become 1 plus 2 into logarithm of 1 by root 2 minus log 1. Log 1 is 0. This we can write as 1 plus 2 into logarithm of 1 by root 2. We can simplify further. 1 plus logarithm of 1 by root 2 whole square. Log x raised to m is m log x. That is the rule applied here. Now, 1 by root 2 whole square will be 1 by 2. When we take 2, it will become 1 minus log 2. Coming to next question, this is also prove that. Let us take the integrand 0 to 1 sin inverse x dx. This is also an inverse function. You have to apply the integration by parts equal to the inverse function as first function and 1 as the second function. Sin inverse x first function into integral of second x minus integral of derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square into integral of 1 x dx limit 0 to 1. Now, let us give the limits here sin inverse 1 into 1 minus 0 minus integral 0 to 1 x divided by root of 1 minus x square dx. Sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 minus 0 minus integral. Here we can give 1 minus x square equal to t. 1 minus x square equal to t minus 2x dx equal to dt or x dx will be equal to minus dt divided by 2. When x equal to 0, t will be 1. When x equal to 1, t will be 0. Giving the limits 1 to 0 minus minus plus dt by 2. root of 1 minus x square will be root t equal to pi by 2 plus 1 by 2 into this is integral t raised to minus half. So, when you integrate minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 under the limits 1 0 equal to pi by 2 plus 1 by 2 t raised to 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. This 2 and 2 will get cancelled here. So, you will get pi by 2 plus t you are giving the value 0 raised to 1 by 2 0 minus 1 raised to 1 by 2 is 1 equal to pi by 2 minus 1 the right hand side. In the next question we can see the integrand is 1 by x square into x plus 1. It is a form of partial fraction. Let us take that and do partial fraction resubstitute then find the value. 1 by x square into x plus 1 
equal to a divided by x plus b divided by x square plus c divided by x plus 1. We are simplifying by doing partial fraction taking LCM both sides. So, the denominator will get cancelled. We will equate numerator 1 equal to a into other than x x into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x square. Now, give, let us give 1 by the 1 the factors equal to 0 x equal to 0 implies 1 equal to here it will become 0 this part will become 0 you will get b into 0 plus 1 which is 1. So, value of b is 1. Now, x plus 1 equal to 0 implies x equal to minus 1. So, 1 equal to where you see x plus 1 a and b they will get cancelled x equal to minus 1 c into minus 1 square. So, it is 1. So, gives c equal to 1. Now, let us equate coefficient of x square both sides equating coefficient of x square on both sides 0 equal to a plus c. From here a will be equal to minus c or c is 1. From this we will get a equal to minus 1. Now we shall substitute in the integrand and simplify equal to LHS in the place of this integrand we will give a by x b by x square c by x plus 1 but we will we'll replace by a by minus 1 b by 1 c by 1 integral limits 1 to 3 a by x minus 1 by x b 1 by x square then comes c 1 by x plus 1 dx equal to splitting into 3 integrands minus integral 1 to 3 1 by x dx then plus integral 1 to 3 1 by x square dx plus integral 1 to 3 1 by x plus 1 dx 1 by x is log x equal to minus log x the limits are same so we can give last then integral 1 by x square dx is equal to integral x raised to minus 2 dx which is x raised to minus 1 by minus 1 that means minus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus logarithm of x plus 1 under the limits 1 and 3 equal to now let us give the upper limit minus log 3 minus 1 by 3 plus logarithm of 3 plus 1 4 minus minus log 1 minus 1 plus log 1 plus 1 2 equal to log a minus log b will be log a by b minus 1 by 3 log 1 is 0 minus minus 1 is plus 1 minus log 2 equal to 
this log minus log 2 also we can take here. So, logarithm of 4 divided by 2 into 3 here taking LCM 3 minus 1 plus 3 it will become 2 by 3. So, final answer 2 and 4 will get cut you will get 2 by 3 plus log 2 by 3. We got the arches. Till now we did definite integral by substitution. We applied partial fraction. We applied by parts. Now in the next session we will do definite integral using certain rules. Let us see in the next session how the rules and how to apply them in the problems. Till then thank you.